How's it going, everybody? It's Jason. Uh, just taking a quick look at the garden before I take off back to the farm. I've been uh, sort of MIA for the past week, uh, working a bunch of overtime and uh, and all. Hadn't had time to do nothing as far as videos go. Hey, I got a little okra plant coming up there. There's several coming up down through there if you can see them between the between the grass. But uh, anyway, I've been fence mending and and working overtime. So hadn't had a whole lot of time for YouTube to watch videos or make them. But uh, I hate to get out in there. Come a gully washer last night, but I can see uh, beans coming up down through that row. I don't know if you can or not, but uh, well, yeah, I've been getting a phone call about every other day. Well, actually, I uh, got a call Tuesday night. My whole herd was out. Had to go get them back in and patch the fence. Then got a call Friday night. The whole herd was out. Went and got them back in, patched the fence. <clears throat> Both nights got home about. Uh, about midnight uh, and I got a call yesterday saying that they were out again uh, so let's uh let's hop in the troll truck here and uh, take a uh, take a quick ride to the farm and uh, you know I surprised myself <clears throat> I thought I was in pretty bad shape thought I was really out of shape but uh well when we get down there you'll see i've been jogging up and down the side of a hill that uh that i really honestly would have thought would have killed me so keeping up with your garden and stuff uh tends to evidently it keeps you keeps you in shape and i also attribute it to eight or ten beers a day as well that's uh being well lubricated uh helps in my mind Maybe that may not be for everybody, but uh, but anyway, I'm loaded up to go back down there, and this time I'm going to actually work during the day. I've been doing this stuff at night, so anyway, let's hop in the truck and take a ride to the farm and uh, go to the back 40. Of course, you know, if they're going to break the fence down and start getting out, the very, very most inaccessible back side of the place is where they're going to do it. So let's hop in. And take off. Well, welcome to the back side of the farm. There's grazing land down that way, back towards the house too. This is about as <clears throat> far back as I believe I've ever brought the video camera. Spider webs. <clears throat> This actually used to be a road bed back here. If you notice them uh, rock walls, the uh, back during the depression when the government was putting people to work back then, <coughs> this stuff was built. I can't remember what they called them, folks. Uh, but anyway. <clears throat> but up on the other side of that hill has been my nightmare this week be surprised that bucket gets real heavy about the third or fourth trip you make up and down the hill so anyway shut the camera off pick you back up at the top of the hill is that everybody one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Come on. It's time to go home. Yes. Charlie's, I can't believe y'all have been doing being part of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, I see why the cows keep getting out. Uh, I guess y'all can see those four new strands 
that I've pulled off in that direction. And uh, if you look down this direction, it looks like there's just one strand. <clears throat> or, well, there's two strands right here, but on past that, it looks like there's just uh, one strand going along through there. But truthfully, there's uh there's about five or six strands of uh of old fence wire uh barbed wire run down through here and patched and patched and repatched you know this fence line was originally put in by my great grandfather now my grandfather never maintained this he left when my grandmother was pregnant with my dad but uh in between my great grandfather <clears throat> then of course my grandmother she maintained it and uh then my dad maintained it for years me helping him along back before the day of of metal t-posts <clears throat> so it's loaded up with uh, a combination of different eras of, of fence posts it's got it started out strong on uh, trees <laughs> and then from there uh, fence posts were put in the ground actual split posts like the one you see in here and here and here and then as technology come along and upgraded and the metal t-post came along those those got incorporated in with it uh, but it's funny on this place there's uh you know it's it's just kind of i enjoy working the fence uh it don't really look like it on this side of the farm because i do have a life and a job and uh and i don't live here at the farm but uh but it's fun walking along this and knowing that I'm walking right in the footsteps of my grandmother, my great-grandmother, my great-grandfather, my father, my mother, and uh, and that both my daughters have walked this fence line too. It's uh, it's just kind of cool. Not a lot of people can say that. But anyway, taking a little break. Got to get back at it. Well, uh, I don't know, I may end, <clears throat> I think this may be the end of this video, so, hope y'all are having a great week, mine's been busy, not bad, just busy, y'all take care, Jason, out.